Hello. Hello guys. Um, how are you? It has been a mega, mega long time since I last vlogged. I think getting on for two months nearly. Um, what has changed in the world of Debs? Quite, quite a lot. Not a lot. Um, one bit of massive news is I've heard from the gender clinic. Yay! Um, essentially, they've uh, they've changed the way they process the whole. Um, I guess applications if you want to call it for want of a better word to see them and they've sent me um, an application form that gives consent for them um, to access my medical records and to confirmation that I'll retain the appointment as well um, they asked to return that within 14 days which has gone off and I asked them to confirm receipt which they did and they said they'd be sending an appointment out in the next few weeks so Again, um, I'm not holding my breath because you know these things take a while. But yeah, I'm really, really so relieved the fact that you know I am within the system that that in now. You know, um, so I'm another little start, tiny, tiny step closer towards my end goal as I am every day doing this anyway. But you know, what I mean, it feels like a significant step, not just a kind of tiny baby step. It's like the next rung up on the ladder. So yeah, that's been mega significant. Um, it's funny because when I heard I um I missed a message because I was at work and I went to the loop and um kind of listened well it's I listened to it I didn't kind of listen to it I did listen to it and I then told the one a few of the girls at work and they were like oh yeah congratulations and stuff and they gave me a hug and I had to go at the back and have a bit of a cry it was quite an emotional moment uh, the rally out of it has sunk in a little bit but um. I'm really looking forward to it. You know, it's getting on for ten and a half months now. Nearly, it's nearly eleven months that I've been living this. So quite a considerable amount of time has passed prior to seeing them. I see that's a good thing. Um, I'm quite a well-rounded individual now. I think there's not there's not much that phases me. Certainly. Um, in terms of a trans woman and how people react to me, I still get shouted at sometimes from cars. White vans seem to be the most popular um, theme at the moment. Um, it gives me strength and it gives me courage and resolve. I think the strength I draw from it is the fact that I'm not like them, that I'm actually choosing to be something that I want to be rather than going along with the crowd or flow or whatever. Um, I'm actually doing something with my life and it makes me don't know, makes me kind of less care about what they have, other people have to say, the more things like that happen. Um, sometimes it hurts, but on the whole it's like, whatever, you know what I mean, I've heard them all now, practically. Um, the Lucy Meadows stuff that's been in the press, I think it's really, really positive that the coroner's actually turned around and said that the Daily Mail should be ashamed of themselves and, he, and he's making recommendations that you know should have been taken up following the Leveson inquiry but I think it's amazing that you know a coroner has actually gone on record and actually said that that you know that, that, that they should be taken into account so uh, t you know and the law should be changed to protect people's privacy I think it's right I mean she didn't deserve that she didn't ask to be thrown into the public eye um, some of us do, some of us don't. The only reason I'm doing this, well, there are two actually. The one for my own personal record, so I can look back, but also um, to raise awareness, you know, to make people see actually we are quite normal. And well, there's three reasons, and to help others as well. I know that there are people who watch this and get help from it, so that's really cool. Um, again, I am not doing this for any other reasons than the reasons I've said, but I've had a look at my um, views, and it's over 7,000 now. It's like, what the flip? Um, it's really good that not many people have interested, I think, more than anything else. Yeah. Um, other things that have changed for me, I have another job now. I'm basically working two jobs seven days a week. And obviously not at the same time, that's impossible. But um, anyone who lives in the Bournemouth area who knows me and knows I work at Flirt Cafe, it's a cafe in Bournemouth that is amazing. Um, they're very friendly, the owners themselves, they're an amazing couple. Um, and we accept anyone and everyone there everyone's made to feel welcome and I love my other job but this is so different that it actually feels like a rest it's given me another 
I guess it's given me another focus, another emphasis in life, but also, you know, because I'm meeting a lot, and lot I'm interacting with a lot more different people socially, um, you know, it's really, really good, it's been a real lift. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, it's, that's all that's happened for me, it's, you know, life is just progressing with Debbie as normal, um, there's a few, oh, actually, there's one thing that's happened that's quite significant as well, um, I've said this before and I'll say it again, the more time that I spend with my friends, you know, my real true friends, the more I realise the value of friendship. Um, there are people in my life who, or you know, there, there are people around that I know that basically they place such a, an emphasis on material gain, you know, clothes you're wearing, what they're doing in the future, um, etc, etc. And it does mind nothing. I, as someone who's kind of, I've come to the side of that and yeah, you know, it, I guess it's just speaking as a voice of experience, we, we place far too much emphasis on you know, the clothes that we wear, or how much money we have, or the houses we live in, or what, what, what stuff's in it, or whatever. You know, the real value in life is friendship and experiencing happy times with nice people. Because if you don't have that, then what have you really got, truly? I mean, I know a guy who's homeless, and you know, he's, he's struggled, but he's now got a roof over his head, and you know, he's got a van and you know he sells the big issues still and he's one of the happiest guys you could meet and you know he hasn't really got a lot but he's went from having loads to having nothing in and then he's got a little bit but he's far happier now because of it and you know I just yeah food for thought anyway um, one thing that's happened and I am someone who has honesty and integrity um, so I'm not going to go too much into it but um something happened a little while ago that basically um, it's made me happy and it's emphasised the fact that yeah my um, you don't choose your sexuality you are what you are but certainly um, I've had an experience with a woman and it, it was incredible and um, yeah it's just it's made me happy with my life even more so and I don't know. I guess it's like another, another step towards becoming, you know, the woman, the woman that I am. Um, I have a few friends who tell me off with saying, um, I have this hashtag that I use when I'm on Instagram and stuff. Like I love being a female. They're like, no, you are a female. So I've started using that tag now. Um, if anybody has any questions or anything that they'd like to ask me, by all means do. Send comments or um, I'm on Twitter or Instagram um, or Facebook even. Um, I don't accept friend requests from people who I don't know or from someone who isn't at least going to send me a message and say hi I don't, we don't mind I requested you a friend because blah 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 blah. Fair enough but other than that no I'm not going to accept it. But anyway I hope everything is well with you all. Um, the summer is here wow nearly a full year doing this. I'll, I'll I don't know if I'll blog in the next month or so, but certainly I will blog around the 12 month mark. I think it's an important occasion um, to mark, you know, having seen my first blogs anyway. Uh, the first week and the first month and then the first six months. Um, yeah, I think I look pretty good for someone who's only been doing it for ten and a half months. I've had no help from the gender clinic, you know, all you know, all the hormones I've been taking. I did do a bit of research and then went on the internet and my GP prescribes them now so you know the ones I have now are safe but certainly I've had no help so I'm looking forward to having that specialist help and you know perhaps they'll tweak stuff but hopefully make me look a bit better but to a trans woman of course her looks are important I'd be stupid to say they're not but it's not the be all and end all the fact that I'm living now as I've always wanted to and needed to more importantly is what's made me happy and I think if you're happy on the inside then it shows on the outside anyway definitely so take care of yourself and i will speak to you soon bye